Uber to go to Maritza's booty consultation. We talked about it a lot last night. I'm really excited to see what the doc says. I'm excited to meet this doctor too, you know? The oldest son of 10, Mormon. Like, the journey that got him into plastic You're surgery. You're known to be Yeah, starting out here, nose and throat doctor. Dad was a psychiatrist. Is he a head case? What do you know? I don't know. Smith Plastic Surgery, and it's in Kamora Business Center. Plastic surgery, waiting for my girl Maritza. We're gonna go get a consult with her. Let's see what he said. Come on. We are here with Maritza to get her implant, uh, what's it called? Consultation. I'm like, let's just get the surgery already. How are you feeling about it? I just hope you can do the size. That's all that's right. all I want. Like just give me the size I want because I don't wanna You don't wanna do it again. What are you thinking size-wise? What are you where where are you at? He said probably six to seven hundred. <laughs> Can your implant accommodate my baby cheek? Yes, there we go. <laughs> so you've had some butt implants placed before in, in uh, Utah? Or, so I'm not to oh, that's a nice event. We're grateful um, for him for some yeah. he, um, he did them intramuscular. He, yeah. And I had a, I had done research before, but it's not common in Utah to do this. I couldn't find any. No, no, he's probably the only one who does them there, yeah. Has he done a lot of them, or did he, has he not done I was the many? second person he had done. Oh, okay, so he was nice, he was honest, he told you, hey, I've yeah, only done this twice. Okay. And so when it okay. was first done, okay. it was fine, everything was fine. But okay. I think as the swelling went down, and they just kind yeah, of... Yeah, they start to sag if they're not truly intramuscular under the muscle, uh -huh. yeah. And so... This one, this one flipped. Okay, yeah, that's so, annoying. Um, it, I mean, I could flip it. Yeah, 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 yeah super it annoying. Yeah. Can that be avoided? Yeah, it can usually be avoided. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. And he, he went for... None the, of my patients ever have any of this, ever, mm -hmm. so... But I've been doing it for a long time, you know, more like well, you know, 12, 14 years, yeah. yeah. Um, this one, this one will flip. This one dropped a little bit more to this one, and it just has like this pointy shape. To it. Sure, sure. And it's not up the way I wanted. I sure. Told them I wanted them up, like yeah. you know where you can see it from the front. Right, right, right. Yeah, shape. a little higher. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So right, right. I do want that implant to be like full yeah. type thing. And Super nice. Look. A little yeah. bit, a little bit higher, a little bit perkier, and, and bigger. So, okay. so like well, let me let me take a peek just for you and see how it looks. Okay. Because uh, sometimes you gotta kind of correct them first. And okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So you know, even though I think you meant to put them under the muscle, okay, uh, and he, even he inter he too, he did intramuscular. Yeah, even intramuscular. Mm -hmm. Not com not convinced that they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this yeah. one slipped or this one slipped out because this one I have no issue with. But yeah. if you look at it from the front, yeah, yeah. you can see it does that like pointy thing right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's the implant sticking out through the skin. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not it's not actually at least in that position not under the muscle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, and I can feel it all the way around here. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I can that feel it's it right here? Yeah, it okay. seems to be on top. So sometimes surgeons, well-meaning surgeons, you know, they want to go under the, under the muscle or they want to go intramuscular, and they, if they haven't done a ton of them, they they may lose, just lose their way a little bit, and mm. suddenly you know you're not mm. really. But I can feel all the way around here, mm -hmm. okay. So if I had to, to and take I just a, wanted it to take up a, here, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I get, I get it. Yeah, I mean, I think we can fix this, um, <laughs> you know, but we we probably need to do. Uh, to be honest with you, we need to do two two stages, okay? Hmm. And one is we just need to take the implants out and let it heal back together, mm -hmm. okay? And then we can go in and put them actually under the muscle. Or, or, mm -hmm. you know. So the wisest thing to do is just go in through the same little incision that you had. You don't mm -hmm. have to have a new scar, okay? You've got two little scars there. Mm -hmm. um, I usually just use one in the middle, but now we've got these two, so we, we'll use you the two. The same? Okay. And, and yeah, I just say we pull them out. It's not very hard to pull them out. Just mm -hmm. let them heal for maybe a, a couple months. You don't have to wait very long. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll usually stick back down a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. Well, and they go back in. Loose and uh, so sometimes when we take them out, we it's it's not a bad idea to put some stitches in there to hold, Support put it together, it. and pull it up a little. Mm -hmm. uh, and they usually look okay. Uh, it usually doesn't get too saggy. Okay. okay. If you do that, and then you go back in and 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 put it all the way. You know, like we talked about. Mm -hmm the true intramuscular position, agreeing the muscle will support them. So I agree in all those ways. So the muscle's not holding it up, that's why it's sagging. Okay, I can feel the implant right down here. I wonder if that's the so, liner. Yeah. I wonder so, if it does that exact same thing. Yeah. So I wonder if 
if it's like half in the muscle or not. Sometimes that's the case, you know, they get, again, they lose their way a little bit. You, usually every woman who comes to me in this situation where they've had them kind of placed and they're on top of the muscle and they're kind of sagging a little bit and they can flip them and all these things, all of her complaints come back and they usually say, just take them out. Really? You know? And that's how I happen to know that you could make some stitches in there and keep it from sagging. Oh, I'm wondering if it's the same because I have one that flips does the same thing yeah. as mine, and I've got seven twelves. Okay. So I'm like the big, of course. I'm yeah. The biggest but did they do it in one surgery or two? It was two? one surgery. Well, it might not be under then. It's very hard. That's, that's why it flips. Yeah. You'll have to wait like two or three months. And you oh, that's go, it. Yeah. You yeah. Go yeah. Up, yeah. I, yeah. I heard that part. That's once, the part I listened to. Yeah. Two once months, the, that's once it. the <laughs> pocket sort of forms. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can go in there and stretch it again, you know, and it really only so takes a couple months. So then you would do six or seven if you want, that. yeah, if you want it, yeah. Okay. We may be able to go straight from the 460 all the way to the seven, um, but at you least to the at least to the six, yeah, yeah, at least to the 600 uh, without without a problem. But you know, you've got to put it; it's got to be under, and and mm. and that's the problem. If you try to put too big uh, in one in one go, there's no way you can get it all the way under a, a, a normal muscle. And then you're cutting through the muscle, you're cutting around the muscle to fit that implant in and pretty soon you know you're you're not under the muscle. You got a part that's under maybe and then you got the edges that aren't and maybe the bottom that's mm. not, and then that's they start sagging matters. and you can flip them. Yeah, I would imagine and, uh, a little more problems so, start too, huh? Especially the bottom. The bottom is the most important part to sort of have nestled in the muscle like this so it holds it like this. If it's Keeps in, it up. Yeah, it will hold it and keep it perky. Mm. Uh, if it's not in that little pocket like that, if the, you know if it's sitting on top and there's and there's just skin, mm -hmm. you know just slide down through that skin and start drooping, sagging, and you can flip them just like like you like you do. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, you know I mean the safest thing to do is take them out initially, let them heal for a couple months, you don't have to wait forever, and then go back in, put in four sixties truly under the muscle, or mm -hmm. and then uh, wait, let them heal. Uh, and then to go bigger, yeah, and that's how you okay. can do that. So, uh, and I, again, I, I'm coming from Utah. It's okay, Layton. where do you guys live? We live in Layton. Okay, Layton. I, I know my nurse is from Layton, not this one. <laughs> uh, I know Layton. You got to sleep on your belly for three or four weeks, and you got to stand, and you got to stay off your bum as much as possible because the number one risk is infection, right? Mm -hmm. You've probably been told that, okay? So why I think that really happens is because when you make the incision, okay. And we close that incision as doctors, okay? And you look at it, and I look at it, it looks like it's closed, right? Yeah. But in real life, if you look at it under a microscope, you know, there's actually little spaces there until the body literally grows together, right? right? And those spaces are, you know, little bacteria can crawl Probably through those infection. spaces. When you're not sitting on it, they probably don't. But when you sit on it, it puts tension on it, it probably opens it a little bit. And then your anus is right there, and the bacteria can crawl in. So the sitting, the most important reason, so it doesn't kind of stretch that incision a little and get the bacteria to crawl in there. So it's super critical. Try and stay off it. I'd rather you drive back home and sit in the back, okay? <laughs> lie down, down, lie down in the back yeah. and fly, to be honest with you. Mm, I figured it probably was safer to just drive, yeah. but yeah. I just... As long as you lie down. But that's so good. It be a pose, no. <laughs> so let's take a quick peek here and see how that... Uh, okay, good. Yeah, okay. All right. This one? Yeah. Is the flip. Okay. It doesn't really, I mean... When I work out, it doesn't flip, but I just have my boobs done. It like, does flip though on you? It yeah. has. Yeah. See, these do definitely feel like they're in a better position, okay? These definitely feel better than yours, even though they're larger. It's okay. Is this the one that flips on you once yes. in a while? Yes. So probably all that needs to happen with you is go in and just repair, you know, there's probably a little tear in the muscle there. Go in and maybe able to repair that and that was that solved your problem. I and the best way to do it is again sure. fix that. No, and then and then go in and let's just put a little fat there, okay? Do you have any fat? No. I'm trying to bulk her up. Oh, okay, let me see if her inner thighs have a little fat. Sometimes we can get do, a little, can you? little peak there. So, you know, we may be able to take a little thigh Please. from there. Definitely. You can without uh, sex skin. I'm 50. Yeah, I'm not it's a little trying to have yeah. You, know, um, you can take like. a little bit from here and be safe. <laughs> So you could take a lot from these knees. Yeah, you, can and be you get that out of there? Yeah, I mean there's a big big area here, okay? Please. I get you can get at least hundred yes. hundred and fifty cc's what? right there. What oh, you and that should be enough. That should be enough to fill in that <laughs> dent uh, reasonably, okay? Uh, does she have any in the Yeah, arms she has some back? upper back. I got some you fat. Probably right get now. a tiny bit there, a tiny bit there. I mean, you could probably scrape up enough to, to do it. Mm. Well, you're not very fat, okay? That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 she's good. You know, if I could get donate, Dr. Smith could donate some from his belly to be fine. Yeah, but, I know. But, uh, I mean, I'll take it uh, to get it harvested. 
We heard uh, that that's not that's not possible just yet. Is it too much? Uh, to, to, you can you can harvest fat, you can grow fat, but you mean use other people's fat? Use other people. You can use it from other people. It's enormously yeah. expensive. So they actually really? do have it. Yeah, they have really? it. Buy it now already. Yeah, but you can get like one cc for two hundred bucks. You know, and you're gonna need oh. three hundred cc's in yeah. size. So you know that price mm -hmm. you know becomes prohibitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, and, but they do already have the processed fat. I forgot which company makes it. I think it's Mentor, right? Who is it that makes that? But what might also be possible is, you know, you can grow stem cells, right? Stem yes. cells come from fat, right? And there are machines that sit on your countertop. They're not even very big. Can I get it and from Amazon? You, you can take some, yeah, you can take some stem cells, <laughs> stick your stem cells in there and grow them. And you may be able to grow a large amount. Uh, I don't know how much you can grow in the, in how much time, uh, but in a month, I know you grow you know, go from thousands to millions, and from millions to tens of millions. Uh, so it may be possible to take uh, may may be possible to take some stem cells from you, grow them to large enough. And then put them in there too. I love so, the scientists. But I have not done that. You know, I have not done that. Since that is cutting edge technology, but it's uh, it's kind game. of already here. So <laughs> let's uh, do that because I'm trying to get that booty even bigger. All right, <laughs> we'll think of, we'll definitely <laughs> think see, about that. You see uh, the booty? I can carry it. Uh, yes, I guess. Yeah, I have resilience. Yeah. So I'm like, let's go get All that right. booty bigger. All right. Well, it's definitely it definitely gets your attention. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what about uh, hip implants? I think. Better doing fat, way better doing fat. Yeah, yeah. Let's just grow some stem cells. Yeah, in see, case, yeah. that's your, your own yeah. fats. So I, I don't do them. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a great procedure myself. So okay. I want to tell you that. But I'm not going to discourage you. Yeah. There's some guy who says that they're the best thing since sliced bread. You know, maybe, but it just doesn't seem like it mm -hmm. to me. Awesome. Thanks All for right. your expertise. All right, you're welcome. It's nice to see you guys. Thank and you. then uh, I'll have my consultant come in and kind of give you costs so and things. Okay. okay? We just had a great meeting with Dr. Smith and his right hand, Christine. Their facility is gorgeous, but more importantly, he totally knows his stuff. And we're so excited. You've got your butt implant, surgery, idea of what you want to do. They talked okay. about stem cell and taking my own stem cells and growing my own fat. She's going to get back to me with that. This is what I've been waiting for. It's like a dream come true. I cannot wait to partner with this doctor. He is amazing. We're going to do incredible stuff. Stay tuned, guys.